G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die for a glorious sunrise back in Alpha 20, coming into Day 20, we finally reached the second decade of our playthrough, where well, I'm coming back and bracing myself for a big day. Today is the day I'm going to raid the Cracker Book HQ, I've been building up to it for like more than a week at this point. Horde night is tomorrow night, and after that, I want to go and raid the wasteland, so it's my last chance to do it before things get a little bit too hackers. So I'm going to do that today, but before I can, I am loaded up and ready to go to go and see my tradey friends and see what they have to offer me. You can go to there, actually, looking all nine up the top. Got my magnum out for the better deal. I've got all the stuff to sell. I'm bringing my awesome sauce and my pumpkin cheesecakes as well, in case I want to buy something pretty expensive. But I'm going to head out early because I'm going to go against my better judgment all the way back to the desert to go and see Trader Hume. I know that Jen just here has some good gubs for me, so I'll definitely see her on the way back. But I'm heading out there already. I may as well carry on all the way out to Huey Boy and see what he's got for me as well. I've got the power of dinosaurs. Although, speaking of actually, I might need some more dinosaurs. Let's go get some more fuel. Here we go, load in some more pterodactyls, that'll do. <clears throat> so, uh, the power of dinosaurs, which means traversing the world, is a little bit easier than it would otherwise be. Let's spare our legs and twist our wrists. Let's get out there nice and early. Not a particularly glorious start to today's adventures. I got halfway out there, out into the boons, out into the trees, and realized that I completely forgot to grab my sugar butts candy, which given how rare they are, I should definitely use them when I have the opportunity to. You're in, not in that one, you're in the food box. Just give me, mm, ah, give me all of them. Sure, but I'll try and find some more out and about on the town anyway. I'll take some eye candy stuff with me actually as well when I go and raid the, um, the Cracker Book HQ. Silly, Josh. Silly, I know you're not used to having them, but you do have a couple of them. May as well make use of it while the sun is shining. All right, let's try again. Quickly check this vendo on the way through. I know that Jen had one back at the start of town, but I'll be there later today anyway. You don't have anything good, but there is one just across the road as well over at the car wash. Come on. I mean, I have what I need already, but I would always like a surplus of them to take the pressure of having to use it to maximum efficiency every bloody time. I'll take the hackers and more eye candy. <gasps> oh, shit. Okay. More eye candy. And lots of dogs to deal with as well. Oh, thank God I saw you what I did. A cheeky deaky wolf horde. Is there more of yous? Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Often dog hordes show up with bears. Did you come out of the storage drain? Oh, now my curiosity is tickled. Maybe there's somewhere I need to raid. Maybe that was the sign. That was the sign from Zeusy the god dog. It was like, oi, go and check out what's down there. This is your calling. And you know what? If I've learned anything from seven days, if you ignore your calling, you get dicked on later. So you got it, Goddy boy. I'll harvest the dog, store my shit away, and be down there in a jiffy. Park up my bike just next to it for ease of use later. Yes, I'm aware I've gotten distracted by something again, but look, I was called upon to do it. I didn't have a choice in the matter. If I had abandoned my calling, who knows what nightmares would have befallen me later on. No one down here. We're all good. Search the garbage, though. Some glues are actually to return. We'll always like finding glue because I still have nightmares about the Millionaire series where I couldn't bloody find it. Stand up. Round through the chin. Ooh, that was definitely through your chin, but you didn't die for it anyway. Okay. Are we good? I mean, hey. Imagine if that's where I find DD. The gods call me to find my floaty pal. Oh. Is there just someone down here with a pension for eating kneecaps? Because how is there so many legless Jeffreys down here? I almost feel bad for his. Although, not as bad as I might otherwise. What better way to break into the pumpy than by ruining the faces of a bunch of hapless souls? Uh, loot and gog's on. I'll check. I was going to say I'll check your pockets. It's not what I normally say, but... I don't know, maybe your breast pockets? I'm not sure. Not really much for like the pants wearing type fire. Um, I'll take the glue. In fact, I'll turn all of that straight into duct tapes. Thank you. Scrap that. Got some extra gubs as well. All right. I could go and pop the loot and candy for this, but I'll just do it as it stands. Medical supplies. 
I'll sell you, actually, and a splinter was good to have. Check the weapons bag as well for another robotics part, which I can sell. Ooh. Do I want to sell the robotics parts or keep them in case I can make myself a DD friend? Another battery, something to sell there, and some lights. What does it take? It's not called a DD, Josh. It's called a drone. Uh, what does it take to make you a finder schematic? Robotics parts. Maybe I shouldn't sell those then. They're like pieces of my friend. I can stitch them together like Dr. Frankenstein. Here's the end of the sewer. Just up and out of the manhole cover. Oh, I'm not too far away. Okay, nice. I love that there's now like subterranean POIs. Like, that even goes like below, honest goodness, other POIs as well. It's no longer just like a one dimensional, uh, dimensional even word. <sighs> A one-dimensional world. Man, I'm all over the shop today. Too excited about riding my purple hog again and finding my DD friend. But yeah, like, having, like, extra layers to this shit, it's like a parfait. And everyone loves parfait. My bold plan of making it out to the desert trader before Sana, before he opened up shop, has not come to fruition. It's now 7 a.m. and the traders are open for business and their customers are desperately clamoring to try and get inside their compound. Being me, I'm trying to get out there as quickly as possible, avoiding all the lumps of wood on the deck. There's probably going to be nothing out there. I know there's not, but if I go out there and just make sure of it, a little bit of time wasted riding about in the desert isn't that much of a cost to potentially find something awesome. Plus, like later on today, I'm going to go guns a blazing through that crackable HQ. I know there's seas and swaths of zombies waiting for me inside. So as long as I can keep them in front of me and keep my ammo supply up, we should be all right, which means I have to go home and reload anyway. I'm going in there with ammo falling out of my pockets, filled to the brim. It's good to be back in my old stomping ground. Feels like I only just left just the other day, but it was a mission out here and a successful mission at that. <laughs> There's my little, barely even an excuse for a base up on top of the roof up there. Right. So I'm not going to sell everything to you straight away because you may not have uh, things to buy, which means there's no use using like my sugar butts and stuff otherwise. I'll take your health bar, your eye candy is always in your dog food, spending some coin, that's all good. Already been through your gun safe, no whackers. Okay, I'll go with my, ooh, I'll go with my regular goggles first to check your normal secret stash before I check a second one. You have a sealed tool schematic, so I'm already very fucking tempted to throw some money your way. Robotic turret, brass, no, candles, no, gunpowder, barely any of them, small time charges, always tempting. What else you got? Gotta have something actually good to make me really want to spend my dosh here. The steel tool schematic is definitely probably silly of me not to take it, actually. Plus some books and things as well. Here's the thing, though. I don't think it's worth the awesome source, but I do think it's worth the magnum and the sugar butts. Maybe a pumpkin cheesecake. It lasts five minutes. That'll last for both this guy and Trader Jen as well. And I can buy more awesome sauce actually from Trader Jen. Then, Interesting. I'll quickly way. change it over for this one. See if there's anything worthwhile in your super secret stash. Fuck you, dude. Just fuck you with the nobliest pineapple you can possibly find. I'd say spin, sit and spin, but I'll spin the pineapple for you. You bastard. You got an engine for a million dollars. Some more shotgun books as well. 10% more damage. Yes, please. Not the one that lets me make the tube mod, but books all the same. Okay, that's fine. I well, I knew you didn't have money the moment I laid eyes on you. I'm so tempted to leave right now. So tempted to leave, but instead, I'll eat you. I've got my magnum out. I've got my cigar in my face. I should do. Definitely do. Okay, eat that one. Uh, not that one, but we'll eat the pumpkin cheesecake. Nice, nice. I can do the selling afterwards. Go here. Go here. I will buy. Where were ya? I'll buy that one and that one. Anything else in here that I actually wanted? I don't think so. Just take your time, Josh. You don't need to rush. 1400 bucks on you. I'll take you. I'm running out of cash, though. I bet you I'll get to, like, the end of this, and I will have no money left over. I'm not going to buy the time charges, because Jen can sell me the recipe for them, so that's all good then. All this other stuff is a little bit excess to need, so I think we're good. I guess nice. Not so bad Change over to that all. one. Read all of you to make sure I don't double buy a book. Yeah, I thought it was going to be the same book again. Pistol Pete's. Sure, it's another thousand, but it'll hopefully be worthwhile. And not much else. Time right. to move on. I agree with you. 
But, well, mm, yeah, okay. While I'm here, I will quickly sell all the stuff as well. Because I've got it, may as well get rid of it. Didn't make much, but did get back up to almost five grand, Thank which God, works for me. Catch you later, Jigglypuff. I'll see you <laughs> probably in about a week and a half, but I'm sure you'll wait for me. Because who else are you going to talk to? Bloody Arlene, good luck to you. Let's get a cowboy hat, then I might be in some trouble. But either way, got a, uh, what is it? Four minutes? Four minutes to make it back to Jen? Four minutes is a long time. Just ask Jenny, girl. Some of you may be thinking that I'm rather daft, and normally you would be absolutely correct, and I would agree with you, but I'm being rather daft by buying books and schematics from the trader when I'm going to raid a Cracker Book HQ. But my faith in, uh, my faith in bookshelves has just been hurt too much to still be around in any significant margin. I just, I just don't think I'm going to find any books. I know I, I'm actually playing in 20.1, the new experimental release for Seven Days to Die, that a part of the patch notes said that they've increased the chance marginally to find books in bookshelves. Don't trust it. Don't trust it as far as I can throw it, and I'm pissed bloody weak, so I can't throw shit anywhere. So I'd rather just buy the book and make a guarantee of it, spend the money while I have the money to make sure of it, rather than leave my fate up to the RNG gods. Because as we know, that doesn't mean dick. Speaking of not meaning dick, you still don't have any sugar butts. I'll take your health bars though. That'll do for me. We could go and see Jen. How are you, you lass? I'll make the time. I've barely got, <laughs> barely got any jukes for you, but you barely give me any time anyways. I guess it's kind of apt. Um, I'll take both of- no, wait, should stock up wait on, on wait on, there we go, let me pull out my gun so you'll give me a better so deal. Take you, still not using the awesome sauce, because I'm going to save that for some big purchases. Speaking of awesome sauce, where was your one? I thought you had one, there it is, I must have just scrolled past it. Alright, double check if I missed anything Josh, then we'll check the secret stash. Oh, no, fuck that, you got 30 seconds left. Um, I'll take you, I can't afford you. I will take that one. That's the time charges one. Don't care about that one so much. Remember 15 me, more seconds. Jen, shut up for a second. I'm busy scrolling through your gubbins. Take. No! I'm $50 short? Shit, what can I sell for 50 bucks? What can I sell for 50 bucks? No! Damn it! My time has run out on my, um. Or was it my pumpkin cheese? Okay, I have some spare ones. I don't think it's worth using just for a book, though. And I've run out of money now, so I'm not going to go to the other traders. But I'm just going to quickly split up my lockpicks. So apparently, they're worth $27 each. So if I sell each one of those... It's really weird, though. I could... I could oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it's really weird. I could, like, click on the stack of lockpicks. It's only worth the same amount of money. It's because I'm an idiot and didn't select all of them. But either way, sell one of these individually. That should be enough, almost enough, to buy you... Thank you. Ten dollar is remaining. Not so much, much at all. Come again. Read all of you guys. I just want a deeds. I miss bloody DD. I thought you were gonna have a for me, but no luck. Can I put it like a special order or something? I'll give you anything you want, Jenny. Just give me my friend back. Back home again. I was just gonna park my motorcycle out on the other side of the wall like I have before, but I'm not really gonna need it uh, too soon. So I'll just leave you there. That should be fine. I'll take everything but the gas. You can hold on to your pterodactyls for another day. Get upstairs, drop this shit off, and make myself, actually. But what do I need? Steel. Do I actually need steel to make this? I do need steel to make this. I might be shit out of luck. I want the steel shovel, but the steel pickaxe is more important. Because if I'm getting into this place and need to beat my way through a door or whatever, the pickaxe is going to be more handy before the shovel becomes handy. 15 forged steel. I spent half a night the other night driving around breaking down uh, all the street lights to get myself about, what was it, 24 forged steel I needed. I can probably get that relatively quickly, but it's already almost midday, and I've got a big POI to try and get through. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just save that for a rainy day, you know? I shouldn't need it, I don't think, for, um, that's the wrong place, for, uh, what's it called, for raiding this place in a moment, so I think I'm right to put all you guys in there, just to save that for a different day. You can go into there. You can hold on to that one for me. The rest of this stuff can find their appropriate house. I need a bunch more ammo, though. And all that stuff has to come with me. I was actually going to take some looting candy with me. I'm kind of peckish, so I could eat one of these chili dogs I got out of that airdrop yesterday. And just some uh, golden rod tea as well. Although I live just like across the road. Do I really need to take the, sh uh, the looting candy with me? Oh, actually, I will take you, and what I'll do, I'll also grab, 
Well, there's not much to ammo forming in there anyway. I've got most of it on me already. I'll quickly chuck those in my motorcycle and just park that outside the front door of the... Oh, jeez. All right, bud. Outside the front door of the Crackle HQ. So if I need to come and get it later, it's there ready and waiting for. We don't have to traipse all the way back over here. Now... Oh, God, I'm nervous about this. Like, I've been to one of these before, and it was a really bad time. But past me knows that I need to have an escape route. I need to make sure that if I need to leave this place in a hurry, I have the means to do so. But while I'm here, we can grab out my bow. My XP gogs are on. Murder you. Which apparently woke everybody up. I'm over in the freaking building, and I'm waking up all the Jeffreys inside. Oh, and they made it through the spikes as well. What the shit good are spikes if they can just walk straight through it? No, oh, put, get your bloody gun out, you larrikin. There you go. I hate that sometimes. You pull the trigger, you press the button to change your weapon, and the game's like, are you sure? Would you like to swing your baseball gun again? No! Get out your fucking gun and pull the trigger, you muck! All right, well, I guess I'm accidentally clearing the bottom floor of this POI. I wasn't really meaning to do it like this, but... This is how it's all kind of worked out. There's one more map there. Can you just like come around this way? There you go. Perfect. All right, well, <laughs> one floor is done. Still need to finish opening up a route out of here though for future me to put his tail between his legs and boot scoot his baby straight out of there. Nice, okay. Well, now that that's been accidentally done, let's get upstairs and get into the thick of it. It's 12.30. Got a lot of time, but not a lot of bravery, nor a lot of dexterity to actually aim our guns properly. This could end very quickly and very dramatically. I can see a up just there. The problem is though, I know, oh, there's one there too, I think. Yeah, there is. I know that stealth is broken in Alpha 20. I know that it is. I can sh just like just downstairs, I can shoot one of these idiots in the face, kill them cleanly and wake up every Muppet on this floor. So, <laughs> so that would be a significant problem given what I'm currently looking at. This is why I was nervous about coming here. So how about I do this and miss? Can I not shoot to a chair? All right. Apparently those chair legs are solid. The old invisible blockade, if you don't mind. Is there someone I can actually shoot? Because I wouldn't mind at least getting the credit for one stealth kill before it all kicks off. That was very loud, but no one knows. That's fine. What about this one? Oh, they woke up for that one. How? How do I shatter a window in front of your- Oh, God! In front of your faces. And no one seems to care. But I shoot someone in the forehead and you're all like, Oi! That's not allowed. How dare you? Not happy on our watch. Look how many fucking zombies there are. I know there's a crawl on. Keep on going. Oh, quickly reload. Through the fight. That's fine as long as he dies. I don't really give a shit. Pump shotgun is what I wanted for exactly this reason. Oh, someone call Noah. Because there's enough zombies here to build a fucking ark. Wrap your nutsack in there. Oh, plethora of skins and hairs. Oh, that's a genuine carpet. An utter floor runner. I can still hear the sound of someone moving around downstairs, but I'm not too concerned about that just for the moment. Make sure my guns are all loaded. Yes, they are. That was so good. That was so good. That is why, that exact reason is why I always want to carry at least two guns with me. And it takes too long for me to reload the AK because I have to put the whole magazine in. But if I just reload the shotgun, it's two shells. Somehow that means eight shells get put in the tube and then you're good to go again. Oh, that was a... Uh that wasn't even a decimation. That was an obliteration. They kept on coming. They kept on firing. And by the end of it, there was a sear and hot shotgun barrel and a lot of jiggle and zombie death. Just got to level up for searching the loo. Don't mind if I do, actually. Um, what am I going to put it into, though? I don't want to put any more points into strength. Mother load would be kind of handy. Master Chef, not so much. Pack Mule, not so much either. Um, I haven't put any points into any of my armor perks just yet, which is a little bit silly of me. I would like some more lucky looter though. You need to be tier three. So if I put a point into you, that means the next point I get can go into lucky looter and I can well, find some better gubs, which I don't think will happen now, but will definitely happen when I go to the wasteland in a couple of days. 
There's a cheeky safe just there. I have a fair amount of lock picks. I'll try it just with one and see how we go. That's why I wanted the steel pickaxe before I left, because then with a small safe like this shit, I wouldn't have to worry about beating my way in with an iron pickaxe. I can make short work of it with a steel one. The question is though, should I bother doing this with everything I find? I do have lock picks in Canada, saving up the real big stuff downstairs. And I guess with a looting candy, I could hit this and then get all the stuff downstairs as well, all in one kind of like flow through of the building. So I'll open you up, but I'll leave you for later. But all like kind of the small stuff like that, I'll search now. Because there's nothing bloody in you anyway. You're always a letdown if I ever have any expectations. I'm not sure how many zombies I'm yet to fight on the next level. Like a lot of them came down to have a bit of a masquerade downstairs, but I think there's probably many more waiting for me. In fact, there's one just there, and I think there as well? Or is that rubble? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a destroyed soul or a destroyed building. Either way, missed that one. Doesn't make enough noise. There we go. Oh, yep. Okay, there's going to be a few. There's going to be a few, but if I just take my time... Oh, it's raining zombie men! That is definitely not a hallelujah. So we're going to employ our previous tactic and the shit out the window and try to take our time and just kill him from here. At least this time, though, I can try and go for some headshots rather than just, like, firing wildly into the crowd and hoping for the best. That's some clean killing. That's a real clean killing. Unusual for me. Normally I'm flapping about like a goose in a pond, but this time managed to actually use the sights on my gun and hit someone, uh, some of them square in the eye socket. Nice. All right. Not a bad day at the office for me. Pretty bad day at the office for you though. A first look at a couple of books. What have you got to offer me? Same old paper and not much else. See what I mean? See what I mean? This is why I wasn't getting myself excited about the potential of the Crackerbook HQ. Because finding books just isn't a thing anymore. Nope, nothing there. I think I've done most of the circuit. I wasn't wearing my uh, XP goggles for that little bit of murder I just partook in, but that's okay. Scrap that Grug. I've already got one already. Don't need a bone. Getting boned enough as it is. A little bit of water. In fact, I'll drink you right away. I do have the coffees, but I've got more of those. And nothing over this side. All right. That's all the looting done for this level, except for the secret area under there. Slide on through here. Was it like an ammo pile down here I think there was? No, nothing. Oh, wait. Do I come into there or do I come out of the hole up to there? Oh, well, I'm here now. Better figure it out. So what have we got? We've got a pile of books with nothing but paper. Some boots I'll actually just scrap right away. Bookshelf with nothing but paper. I think that's going to be a pretty common theme for most of this raid, which is unfortunate, but just the way the cookie crumbles. More paper then. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Let's get out of here and head to the roof where yet another giant battle will happen. That's why I wanted to bring all of my ammo with me. The AK will save you from a lot of problems. I was going to make sure I'm pointing the muzzle in the right direction. It's funny now, actually. So normally I would happily pick off both of those vultures one after the other and not worry about it and keep everything nice and cool and calm and collected. But now I do have to decide what like what zombies I want to use my cell shot on and what ones I don't want to use my cell shot on. That's a lot of them coming up. Although it's not like the vault from stairs. Maybe some a couple of them up here. That's not too bad. That's fine. Don't bother aiming on the sides and wasting your stamina. You do have to use the, use the bat at the end of this. You're going to need all of the gumption you have. Like that. Oh god, that's a dog. Oh, that's a doggo. Where the hell did you come from, doggo? I thought you were something else. All right, give us a tick. Give us a moment. We're going to just reload my guns. I missed the dog. Heckin' silly of me. Take a moment. That's fine. They're locked behind the door. There's super smart structure engineer zombies, but they don't know how to use a door handle. There we go. Open them up a bit, then open up their faces. Yeti. Bad Yeti. You didn't even swing your salami sticks. How the shit did you hurt me? Oh, man. Go, go, gadget telepathy, apparently. Okay. Nice. Now it's just a couple of condors to deal with, which is okay. That's what the spiky butter death is for. Come on. Get over here. There's a lot of... Because I've got a lot of time and patience to swing my fiddle about. Get over here. There you are. One. Missed you. Two. And three. That guy was still flying, but not because he was alive. Are we good? 
Oh! Oh! The panic swing wasn't even bloody there. Swung at the noise, not at the bird. Oh, and a double hit too. Love it. Chuck the old loot and specs back on again. Grab the ammo pole out of the middle. Nine more bullets. Thank you. I am uh, I am on the edge of my seat. If you're like listening to me talk, you're like, man, he's really talking quickly and panicking a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes, I bloody am panicking a lot. Thank you for noticing. Yo, block damage is worse. No, better on the new knife. Easy as. Modify you. Do the quick change over. Um, do I bother going to sell uh, the knife? It's worth 200 bucks. So yeah, I guess I probably do. I can chuck it in the bike downstairs if I need the space for it later. Um, anything else around for me? A little bit of gubs up on the helipad. I'll grab those before I go. What you got? Another ammo pile with 12 shotgun rounds. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll just read you now. Take the rest of that. Nice. Let's keep going. I remember this from last time. And I think I didn't want to come down the ladder. I think that was a death trap, but I can't remember what the other way in was. So I guess I'm just kind of here now. I suppose if I have to really bail out of here, I'll give it my best shot. Let's just stay nice and quiet. I'm hoping... Oh, I thought that was a crawler. Ah, oh, it's not. I was going to say, I'm hoping this is the ground floor where I've already murdered half the Muppets, but it's not going to be... Watch out for that. I think I have the book to walk over you quietly, but I'm not going to trust my life to it. So this is the thing. I'm tempted to go murdering, but that's going to wake everybody up and be more of a problem than not. But also, why be a wimp? Let's get going. Murder you. That didn't wake up your friends this time. I'm not sure what the difference was, but I'm loving the change. Turns out stealthing through and murdering zombies on the down low, an awful lot of fun. I know there's someone in there too. Can I sneaky deek my way in? Oh god! Oh, no, that's not a thing I want to sneaky deek up to. Okay, I have given myself some issues. AK for dogs. Don't take the risk. That's a couple of random mups. The other ones are stuck in there. I think I can go with the um with the Babel bat for you. Probably should have my XP dogs on before now, but here we bloody are. Dealing with the consequences of my own actions. No one's coming behind me. God, I hate this game sometimes. Guess my heart went through the bloody roof. Think I've successfully killed everyone. That would have been a really bad time if all the mups downstairs were still alive, but I cleansed that floor not long ago. There's an arrow that I panic shot at a dog and completely whiffed. Should probably be wearing my loot and gogs to check through all this random garbage as well. It's 6 p.m. Running out of time, get some paper out. Ooh, something to sell at least. Would have been handy for that like two weeks ago, but I accept finding anything other than scrap paper out of you. Thank you very much. 200 bucks is 200 bucks. There's nothing to sneeze at. Anything in here? Search you. Just some paper. Not much else. Okay. So then really, it's just like the real basement level. I've done all this up here. Need to find my way down, which I've forgotten where it was. I assume there's a staircase or something around here somewhere for me. Need to find my way down. That's the way back up. And uh, go raid the basement. That's where all the good gubs are going to be. As well as all those bookshelves. There's the way down to the basement. I'm down on the first floor, but everyone here should be long dead from my previous Muppetry. Yep, we're all looking sweet and happy. Oh no, that was the death trap. That's the one I was thinking of. The other one was just the normal way to go down. Down into the basement, going down the elevator ladder. Bad bloody idea. So not doing that. What I will do though, quickly duck out here. Drop off all of you. You can get out of there as well because I don't really need you on me. That can all go away. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Lock you in. Nice. I could go take it home, but that's fine. Only a little bit left to go. I'll actually grab my looting candy now. Like that. Easy peasy. All right. Let's go squeeze those lemons. Let's see what comes out of it. I'll save the cash registers and stuff until I've got the looting candy going through my veins. But for the moment, I'll just raid the bookshelves. Anything at all. I don't think we're going to find anything. But if I find one or two books, I'll be cheerful and cheaper as anything. That's a schematic for a hunting rifle that I already have. But I can still sell. Nope. Nope, that's all empty as well. Search the end caps. Nah. I don't have good feelings. Oh, it's the wrong kind of robot, though. I almost had DD. It's just the wrong kind. The game knew what I wanted and decided to give me something close just to get my hopes up, then rip them away immediately. That's it. That's all the bookshelves. 
Damn it! Oh god, alright, it's already kicking off. That was a feral Nance as well. Oh, yep, they're all coming. They're all coming. Okay, well, so I could close that behind me. I can lead them out to go out that door there, which is probably the plan. The sparks will do a lot of the work. Oh, I forgot though. Oh, that's a rad. Oh, they made it through the door immediately. Okay, well, I'll be out here if you need me. If you guys could just like puddle up on the sparks, that would be super duper of you. You need to die. You've taken enough horse to the chin for you to probably learn your lesson. This might have been, oh, you know what? Oh, that's a bloody park bench. This might have been worth. Just come over here. Everybody come this way. I have a purpose-built thing ready to go to take care of all of your needs. Everybody come this way. Look at you. You all thought you were so super smart. Ah, who's out thinking who now? This is what happens when you still have a blood supply to your noggin upstairs. I don't have much, but I got more than you. This was a good idea. All I'm missing is a Molotov or something. If I can, I go. Just because it's getting a little bit a little bit out of hand out here. The ruckus is kicking off a bit more than I might have otherwise liked. Oh, that was a white over there too. And they are actually making it through the bar. So we're going like polar mode because I get punched in the face and then they usually make it through. Just because I could and this was a good decision. If I didn't have this base here, that would have gone very awry very quickly because they're just like... They're built like brick shit houses. You could have a thunderclapper over here and the house would stand up to the task. They are not here to fuck about with any sorts of spiders. They're only here to fuck with me. Oh, I missed his noggin a couple of times for the last time. Don't stop jiggling about, please. Fuck it, I'm the same center mass then. There we go, definitely dead. That was, um... That was a pretty significant little horde just there. That was nothing to shake a stick at. Lots of dead zombies. No loot bags out of that, which I think is a little bit interesting and a little bit stingy, if I'm being honest. I can hear the footsteps of some more. There's one. You guys got stuck. Oh, that's a shit shot. Stuck in your little house over here. That's kind of, I kind of understand the sentiments. And you? Not good shooting by me. I am not a good shot at the best of times. I don't know when I'm panicking. They slice through that door like a hot teaspoon through a Vegemite jar. They were not mucking about. Are you working? No, you're not. Oh, I would like to steal out of you though. Where were you guys? Why did you guys wake up and come and join me at the Horde base a second ago? We had a whole big party. Everyone was invited. You, oh, that's a double decap. You just thought you were better than that, didn't you? Well, I got news for you. Bat says no. Make sure we don't forget the weapons bag at the bottom of the elevator shafts. Uh, anyone else around? Just... Oh. 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 <laughs> Holy shit, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Having something moving, as after this, having something moving in my peripheral vision where there's not supposed to be anyone else in the room with me, that gave me a pretty considerable heart attack. Woo! All right. <laughs> Fuck. That, that, uh, that got me. That got me good. I was not anticipating seeing movement and playing a zombie game and panicking like that and suddenly there's something next to me. Not a good feeling. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's a couple of boxes I need to open. I've got my lockpicking candy as well, so that's no real drama. Open up you. Open up you as well for future Josh to get out of. It's almost night time. I'll just make sure this can be looted as quickly as possible. And I'll pop the, the lockpicking candy, then the looting candy, and take everything it's got. Lockpicking candy is in, so it should be done in a jiffy. Just picking it now before I take the looting candy. There we go. Looting specs are on. Looting candy is in. Didn't quite get the next level up. So got to put another point into Lucky Looter, but that's okay. That's for next week. Check you first. Ooh, security camera bundle. Interesting. Wasteland treasures. Harvest costumes, coffins for gems. Take that. Time charges. A beaker and some nugs. I'll read you two. Um, I might even just scrap you for the leather, because why not? You're worth a hundred bucks. I'll take you with me. What's in you? Some speakers, some cameras. I just bought half those things. <laughs> Dang. All right, well, I guess I have doubles of some of them now. That's okay. Some medical supplies. So it's a large ammo pile as well. Got some ammo out of you. Shock horror. All right, but now's what we're actually here for. Books. Wasteland Treasure Volume 4. Purify Water. I'll take you and I'll sell the shotgun turret schematic. What's in this one? Lucky Luna. Find more lead. 
Was there the only two boxes in here? I think it was. Because once I go, I'm not coming back. Yep. Now, nah, all done. Another couple through here, though. Still have to get the safe all the way upstairs as well. Find more junk in loot. All right. <laughs> Sick. Come on. I know I wanted books. We give me better books. Can sell both of those. But can I sell you? You're only worth 50 bucks. Never mind. I'll get rid of you. Let's grab the um the weapons bag. It's now night time. Also search these two, actually. <laughs> I'm finding better loot in the lockers than in the loot boxes. Oh, there it is. Arlene's been around because there is the chlamydia mod. Change you for that one. You can have that one. There you go. Also found some purple dye in these boots, which I'll quickly nab out of you and chuck in the wrench, I suppose. There you go. Dye your purple. You can have that one. No, you can't. I lied. That one too. Um, use you because I'm a little bit cucumbered. Don't need the lead. Don't need you. I can drop some stuff off, off my bike, actually, as I go. Just want to make sure, I want to make sure I'd rather that I haven't missed anything and I haven't just run around and made myself a right pelican. Got three minutes left of the looting candy, so no massive rush. I checked through here, um, haven't checked you yet. Extra couple of coffees, thank you very much. Always appreciate someone giving me what I need. Coffees or frothies are always appreciated. But I'll take you. Anything in you? Mm, no? Okay. Let's go drop this shit off on my bike, then head up to the other safe. And then it's about time to call it a day. Please no one be outside. It's foggy. It's ominous. But I don't think there's anyone here. At least not right next to me, and that's all that matters. I think that safe was up here. Was it, was it one of these corner offices, wasn't it? I think. No, not that one. I always get so turned around to these upper levels. They all look exactly the same to me. No, not that one either. That's the kitchen. Where the, where the dickens was it? What? Or was it the floor below this one? No, surely not. Uh, okay. I'm very turned around now. I can't remember dick of where this thing actually was. Down here? It was in one of these offices, I'm sure. Or was it next level down? No, it couldn't have been. Where the shit is this thing? Damn it, where are you? Ah, found it. We're all good. We're all fine. Search the wall safe. Tier 5 sledgey worth a bit. Take the arrows and the dosh too. I can hear someone beating on something downstairs, but that's fine. I think my job here is done. Park up the bike in its usual spot. So how do we actually fare out of that raid? I shouldn't have opened that, uh, that box until I got home. That was silly of me, but that's okay. I can't take everything I need to take upstairs in one go, so I'll just do that quickly and come back for the rest of the gubbins. There's a couple of zombies stuck in the schoolyard out that way. Getting really antsy about it, but I'll come back for them in a jiffy. Just let me chuck all the stuff away that I need to. So do I need to reconsider actually how that um how that horde base is actually working? Because I went there with that big horde outside and tried to fight them, and they got inside the first stage of the fences pretty quickly. So it might need another look see to see if it's actually gonna stand up to the thing. I'm not sure. I can hear the sounds of doggy boys out there getting really antsy about something, plus someone coming up the stairs. Still need to get the rest of the gubbins that I need out of... Ooh, is that, a, is that a stairwell over there? It might well be. Hey, do you want to test it by chlamydia? <laughs> Couldn't handle Arlene if you wanted to. There's definitely something happening over there, and I hear it most nights. Maybe there's someone who's almost get stuck out there. I don't know. No one else coming that way, though. I think we're all good. So give me... God, it looks good in purple. Give me the rest of you. Is there anyone else? I want to know. I want to know what's happening out here. Every night, I hear the sounds of zombies getting angry about shit. I need to know what you're stuck on and biting. I'm coming not to save you, but definitely to, um... Well, get rid of you. I don't know where they're getting stuck, but it's somewhere... Ooh. It's somewhere in this building. Not just really much of a building anymore. Apparently, they were so determined not to be my neighbors, they just burned their bloody brick house to the ground. Huh. Oh, bit rude. Oh, there's something over there, actually. I'll go and grab that. Oh, don't fall into an elevator shaft, though. You've done that once before, and it was the worst thing ever. Had to beat your way out of there with a blunt rock. Can I... Oh, make that. Yes, I can. I really... Oh, it's just an ammo pile. Fair enough. I really do like... There's a lot more, like, remnant buildings like that. Like, a POI that's not actually, like, a house. Adds to the... Oh, there's some food here, too. Adds to the uh, immersion of the world so much more. Oh, a cheeky frothy. I'll drink that to celebrate in a moment. 
I don't know. I don't know what they're getting stuck on over here then. It seems pretty open and breezy. Maybe they're just getting lost. I don't know. Oh, good day, Arlene. Oi, come over here for a second because I want to reintroduce to the world I don't think you've actually been cured of. If you have, you got to tell what the ointment was. I've been dealing with the remnants of you for a long time. Stripper titties, this isn't between you and me anymore. I'll pay for that later. Come on, one more. There you go. Sit you down. Very potent. You'd think her, like, her uh, tolerance to chlamydia would be up a bit, given it's basically she's the factory it was made in, but apparently not. I hear more footsteps. I know I should be inside my hall base. That would be the smarter thing to do, but this is working okay. But I just want to kind of get this over and done with. Can you die, please? I would have thought the first one would have hit you, but I guess not. Where's everyone else? Zombie hordes dealt with. Let's get back up into my tower. But why haven't chuck in the extra ammo I found just away for now? Look at that. Well suited, well prepared for the next horde that shows up. This might need a bit more reinforcements, I suppose. Depending on how the day 21 horde goes, I might increase the amount of zombies per horde night as well. At the moment, it's at 16, so double the normal zombies. But if that still feels a little bit light... I'll, um, might have to do some upgrades and changes. Because, yeah, that horde that came out of the Cracker Book, that was a pretty considerable challenge for me. Uh, sellables is that one. You can have that, that, that. Uh, the mods can go into that one. No, that one. There you go. You can have that one too, but not to be sold. Mm, yeah, I'll keep the rest. I'll keep the rest. Also, put the shotgun away. I have a habit of accidentally knocking the trigger and destroying a block. And I don't want to destroy my storage. I've actually got a pretty decent amount of gunpowder just from assorted travels. Bullet tips is actually what is, is letting me down on that front. So give me you for the moment. I'll turn that into 762 ammo. Take like 20 minutes, an extra 200 rounds. That's good for me. And then the rest of that gunpowder... Timed charges, iron and electrical parts. I know I have a fair few already, but more is always going to be handy. You, time charge. I can make 25 of them. Let's just go 10 just to scratch the each and see how it plays out. I can now put you back into there. You as well. In fact, you. Give me the brass and I'll put you into that forge and craft up a couple more casings or what have you. All of that ammo production is going pretty well. That's quite a lot of casings, actually. Ten, that's close enough. That's close enough. Sure. Boom. Get you crafting along. Yeah, no, good. Oh, wait. Did I miss anything? No, nah, no, nah, we're fine. Chuck you back into them. Sick tits. I've got both my forges running now to try and get all my iron and clay back into this forge to make myself some more steel, whatever happens down the road. Need to find that crucible. This may call in a scream up or two, actually. Two forges. I mean, if we're going to be doing that, we may as well also run the campfire and make myself some more food as well. Didn't I find, actually, veggie shoes, steak, and spuds. Shrooms, spuds, meat, and animal fat. I've got some shrooms growing upstairs. I've got some potato seeds. I have some of you, some of you. I'm lacking in the old spud department. Can't make myself any hot chips, which is very upsetting. I guess we'll do that another day then. Don't bloody worry about it. No whack and flurries. Not much else getting me excited. Do I have any eggs, actually? Nope, no eggs either. All right, well, I guess I'll just crank out some more boiled meat. Fucking whoop de doo Take that. Take that. It's not very fun to eat, but it will keep me alive at least for a little bit. We'll keep our eyes out for anything fun to eat later on. Nice. I'm going to have to leave this episode here. So tomorrow, I'll fight the next Blood Moon Horde. And assuming I survive that... Make sure no screamers are about it. Assuming I survive that... Ooh, g'day, Ballsack. Then after that, I'll head down into the wasteland, see if I can find myself a town of some sort to, uh, to raid down there. Because that's where the good loot is, and that's where I want to go. But I'm going to have to come back and go and try my fate at raiding the wasteland in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon, who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.